If you drive around the Lafayette Public Square anytime soon, you'll probably notice something new. A brand new mural depicting part of Macon County's past is now visible for everyone to enjoy. Miss Nancy, um, uh, the Macon County Arts Council, they have grants uh, and they are um, uh, putting murals uh, up on the square and there's already been three and um, she asked me if I'd be interested in doing the fourth, which I said yes. And uh, we were able to choose our own um, theme. And so um, uh, I wanted to do mine of the grist mill of my great grandfather. Uh, Slathiel Samuel Adams was his name, but they called it the Adams Grist Mill. It's in the, uh, it was located in the Underwood community. Um, it's no longer there, but uh, we went to the um, uh, site and uh, took a lot of landscape photos, and then my family had some photos of the actual Grist Mill. Uh, the Arts Council, um, was uh, very good in uh, helping to do the research too. Uh, and the Macon County Historical Society, uh, they helped me locate some uh, additional pictures. We used those then to construct the uh, mural, uh, the sketch for the mural itself. My mother could remember going down there, so she sat down with me and helped to sketch where everything was located and she could remember how the house looked and the foot logs in the creek and um, you know some of the details of it she could remember that so um, you'll see the detail you know of that but that was from my mom's memory. How difficult of a process was that for you considering you only have photographs to work with? Um, it, a little bit uh, difficult um, uh, some of it is added from the artist eye. I'm sure it's not a complete replica of what was there. Some of it is my imagination along with uh, the details that I did have. Um, but uh, it, it quite fun. Um, I love landscapes. That's kind of my uh, uh, specialty and I love landscapes. So it just kind of come natural and fell right into what I love. So it was, it was a lot of fun recreating it. How long did it take you to finish this? Uh, about six months. Yeah, um, it, it was quite an ordeal. Uh, the uh, size, I have never done anything of this size, so it was completely out of my uh, realm as far as how big it is. And uh, so uh, my husband helped me to place the panels on our garage wall, and uh, we started from there. And uh, so it's just taken quite a while. The perspective of it and, you know, the uh, size of it was a little bit difficult. So, yeah. Talk about just how, how pleased you are the, the way it turned out. Um, I was really pleased with uh, the final product. Um, the colors are very vibrant, uh, but yet it depicts uh, the landscape, you know, perfectly. Um, I, I made it to be kind of a uh, early fall setting where there is uh, still a lot of greenery, but adding a lot of the uh, rust and reds and the turning of the leaves. And uh, so I, I think it'll bring some color and uh, uh, blend well with the brick <laughs> also from the bank, but I'm, I'm hoping it'll be an added feature to the square. I was going to ask too, I mean, how much of an honor was this for you to be asked to do this in the first place and then knowing that your work is going to be on that bank for many, many years to come? Yeah, very big honor. It is just a very big honor. Um, my family was just uh, uh, elated that uh, I had chose the grist mill and uh, my husband was just very, very proud that uh, I was even asked to do it because he knows how much I love this and uh, so we were just ecstatic. Of course, this is a side street off the square, the side of Macon Bank. A lot of people maybe don't travel this road as much as they would just going around the square. Do you think maybe now you'll start coming down the street a little more often? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. And direct everybody this way. <laughs> North Central employees Shea Tom Claraday and Charlie Bowman hung the mural for the Macon County Arts Council. We here at NCTC were happy to help and make the Lafayette Square a little brighter. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.